Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones, live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney, Australia. Now, the Australian share market is expected to rise at the open. The SBI futures are pointing to a 0.5% gain. Now, on Friday, the Australian share market added 0.66% to close at 7,328. Looking at some business news from this morning now, an Iron Air has secured a $1 billion loan from the U.S. Department of Energy to develop its lithium boron project in Rhyolite Ridge in Nevada in the U.S. The proposed loan is to be made under the DOE Loan Program Office's Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Program and it's for a term of around 10 years. Rhyolite Ridge is the most advanced, undeveloped U.S. lithium project and is on track to provide an environmentally sustainable, long-life source of both lithium and boron for delivery into the U.S. domestic electric vehicle supply chain. Baby Bunting reports that their total sales of $254.9 million for the half were 6.6% higher than the first half of financial year 2022. Gross margin has improved from 36.4% in the first quarter to 37.9% in the second quarter. Group MPAP was down 59% on the prior year. Now, during the first half, new stores have been opened in New Zealand, Victoria, New South Wales and South Australia. For financial year 2023, Baby Bunting expects pro forma net profit after tax to be in the range of $21.5 million to $24 million. And McMoan Holdings has now finalised a load and haul services contract with Talison Lithium Australia for the Green Bushes Lithium Project in Western Australia. This follows McMoan's selection as the preferred load and haul contractor for the project. The contract is estimated to generate revenue in excess of $1.1 billion over its initial seven-year term. Well, it's time for a break now, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. Welcome back to the ASX Breakfast Report. Looking to the U.S. now, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.33%. The S&P 500 rose 0.4% and the Nasdaq Composite advanced 0.71%. Now, U.S. markets will be closed today, and that's for Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. European markets closed higher. Paris rose 0.69%. Frankfurt gained 0.19%. And Linzen FTSE closed 0.64% higher. Brent crude added 1.7% to $85.42 US cents a barrel. And finally, Spot Gold added 1.2% to $1,920 US dollars an ounce. That's all for our ASX at Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.